So you guys, I have decided I'm taking a shower at Love's. <laughs> I have never paid for a shower since I started van life, but today uh, Planet Fitness is around here are closed on the weekends after like 7 p.m. and that sucks. So I am going to pay for a shower because I have sun lotion all over me from the day. Turn the light on here. Ooh. I have sun lotion all over me from the day and I've used my park rides and I want a shower. So I am gonna pay for a shower. Call the head to make sure. This is kinda on my way to Dorney Park where I'm heading next. So we're gonna take a shower here at the Loves. Truck stop. Loves is one of the first places I ever stayed the night. Not this one, but one in where? Outside of Hershey PA, I think it was. Ooh, I gotta clean my window. Big time. Might even sleep here, who knows? Looks like it would not be a problem to sleep here. We shall see. Alrighty folks, so I parked right here at this Lowe's. Looks like a Wendy's, but it's actually a Lowe's. Loves, loves, I'm sorry, a loves. And I'm gonna do a shower here. A loves truck stop. And they have showers, I called ahead and they're $16. Like I said, I called ahead and they're $16, um, which is a ton of money for me. I don't like spending that much money, but all the Planet Fitnesses are closed and I really want to shower because I have layers of sun lotion and uh, amusement park rides and I just need to take a shower. So I'm going to pay for it today. So this is where we're showering. The Loves. Loves in just outside of Six Flags Great Adventure. I'll put the address somewhere here so you can tell and see where it is. And you just kind of go inside, clean to, dedicated to clean places, friendly faces. So you go in just to the register and tell them you want a shower, is how it's worked before for me. So you usually just walk up to, actually you go, don't really go to the convenience part, you go to, back to the truck stop and it showers, you pay for them back there and whatnot. They have restrooms and showers down there too, usually. All right, you just go up to the cashier and tell them you want a shower and they give you these. It tells you what customer number you are and I'm shower number two. It was $16 even. There's the address, by the way. Border Town, New Jersey. Um, and they just announced my name over the speaker and said my shower was ready. So I go to shower number two. So Proceed to this area, showers and laundry. Showers and laundry where they have laundry machines if you want to do some laundry. This is for the truckers and whatnot, and those of us who live on the road. So I come back to shower number two. So there's a bunch of showers, um, like 10 of them on this one. Shower number two. So I take my thing and then I enter my pin code into there, it looks like. Let me do that for you. 69038. 69038. And I normally don't trust this anymore. Uh, oh, pound. Pound, okay. And it opened. Hi. This is what I look like right now. And it's a nice shower. Let me put everything down and I'll show you around. Okay, so when you come in, uh, there is a toilet, and what's nice about this is it's a, your own private space. You're in no one else's business, you can just chill and do your own thing, use the bathroom, take a shower, do your thing. Um, so that stuff is mine, these are my receipts. Um, so when I came in, basically there was towels, they even provide towels and some soap uh, if you need it. Um, but I, this is my stuff here. Uh, my, my towel, my t-shirt, um, this is, <laughs> I do use a neti pot si sinus rinse thing because I have sinus issues, blah, blah, blah. Toothbrush, all my stuff's in there. So yeah, $16. And I'm gonna take, a, take my time and get fresh and get out of these clothes. And oh, look what King Dakar did to me. That's from King Dakar. <laughs> Bruises. Oh, I got it on both of them. That's crazy. <laughs> from woo because I wrote it 13 times 13 times in two days and it, it hits my arm is right in that one spot <laughs> so fun though okay so like I said there's a toilet there uh nice fan too that's very important airflow got a couple of racks there to hang your stuff on and inside the shower is oh they do even provide soap 
for you too if you need it. I brought my own, but so it looks like there's two different uh, spouts. Wow, that's fancy. So it's got two different uh, shower heads, which is great. Get the upper and lower. <laughs> so I'm gonna get fresh and this way I won't have to shower in the morning. I can just wake up and go straight to do any part and feel clean. All right, I'm gonna shower guys. Also, I do use shower shoes when I shower. noticed this before but there's actually a bath mat in there too so I pulled, busted out the bath mat so nice and I'm totally naked right now so I'm hiding from the mirror there's my drawers <laughs> actually I might use the towel because then I don't have to have mine drying in the van it's one of the downfalls of van life is having your towel have to dry in the van all right I need a shower all right guys I just turned the showers on so you guys can see how it is with the double you turn this knob and that one goes off. You turn it all the way down and it goes on. If you turn this one, you turn it about halfway, both of them kind of go on. And then if you turn fully up, then just the bottom one goes on. I'm doing like kind of both right now. And see how it feels. So that was wonderful. Oh my gosh, the two, the, the two jets were wonderful. <laughs> so great. It was awesome. That was so wonderful. Uh, much better than a Planet Fitness shower because Planet Fitness showers are hit or miss. Sometimes they're lukewarm. Sometimes they're barely any pressure. Plus you have to deal with other people in the locker room. Here is real nice. There's me in the shower. That was great. Also, there is no time limit. There's no time limit, at least at this one. Um, it's my first truck stop rest shower in a while. I did one years ago when I was living out of my van when I work, first started working for the movies. <laughs> I would um, tell people I was local and then like live in my SUV at the time actually for a week or two while I was filming movies in the shower at Planet Fitnesses or truck stops. So uh, they've never, there's never been a time limit that I'm aware of. Um, some might, but this one does not. So yeah, just like that I'm done. So just light the door, shower door open and take off. So there's a bunch of showers and that's what they're for. That's how the truckers live. And I do have to remember that if I ever need to do laundry, I can always do that at a truck stop. We are good to go. Go back out to my van. They do have all kinds of fun stuff at truck stops too. If you've never been to one by any chance, you should stop in one there. All kinds of fun stuff. Truck stuff, food t-shirts all the good stuff water this one even has a wendy's over there wendy's <sighs> all right time to get back to the van good morning folks today we slept at a the lowe's loves parking lot that we showered at last night oh that's the highway back there but there's a lowe's over there and I have a van life friend next to me. I didn't meet him, but there's a van parked next to me. But we're heading to Dorney Park today. Dorney, yay. I forgot to mention one of the other reasons I showered last night is because I hadn't, or paid for that shower last night is because I had not showered that morning either. So I was ready for a shower. All right, my friends, we are on our way to Dorney Park. We got the chapstick on because my lips are still burned from yesterday put sun lotion on but I couldn't find my SPF uh, chapstick and apparently that made a difference yesterday so everything else isn't burnt but my lips are a little toasty so we are heading to Dorney Park I was just stuck in some construction for 20 minutes it's fine it's the road I almost drove there last night and then just slept nearby there I should have done it but I didn't so I slept just outside of, um, oh I don't know halfway between Six Flags Great Adventure and Dorney Park. They're like an hour and 15 minutes from each other, so not too bad. Okay, people, I see Dorney Park. You see that roller coaster over there? I think that's Talon. Talon, right there. Oh, there's uh, Steel Force. Dorney Park. Wahoo. Turn right onto Dorney Park Road. In 1,000 feet, keep left. 
All right, we are here. I'm gonna turn off this navigation. There's Possessed, yay. All right, guys, we made it to Dorney Park. All right, we made it to Dorney Park. There goes Talon. Oh, <laughs> oh,